this centre opened 50 years ago on the 30th of June, so we're out of date, <laughs> well out of date. And we just don't have the space we need. The dogs is one problem, the cats are an even bigger problem. We are licensed for just under 100 cats. We've usually got about 150 squashed in in the height of the season. When we move, we'll have places for 180 cats in their own pods and pens, which will be really nice. We'll have room to exercise dogs on grass, in fields, and we won't have the continual noise. There's police vehicles up and down the road all night. The fire station's just at the bottom of the hill, so you've got every time there's an emergency, you've got sirens going all the way around you. We're the only animal centre in the country that has a night security guard because of the number of break-ins that we've had. They come over the back fence, there's a lot of drug dealing goes on in this area, and it's just not... Um, an area conducive to animals recovering mentally as well as physically. There is nothing purpose built for looking after animals. And we've had, up until we cleared one of the old kennel blocks out, we were actually treating dogs in the cattery kitchen because it was the only space we had on site to do it. And as it is here, you know, if you get an extra animal, you may do. We'll have space for those animals up there. We'll be tied together much better with the hospital, that we'll have a system that the animals can come in, see a vet, and then come into our care, instead of coming into our care, and then we have to take them mm. to the hospital. They will have peace and quiet to recuperate, which they don't get here. You know, when they go to bed at night, they'll go to bed and have peace and quiet. It's absolutely fantastic up there. And we're, it's on the top of a hill, the wind will blow through, it keeps everything fresher. Down here we're in a dip, it gets damp, it gets foggy. Even when it's not foggy at the top of the hill, it's foggy here. And so they're breathing in damp air the whole time. It's just such a better environment and the fact that there's going to be room for them to be able to have off-lead exercise for the dogs. The cats are going to be able to look out on a more pleasant environment. Some of our cats here only look at brick walls um, because that's all we've got. You, know, you do the best you can. You put tubs of plants and things in to try and brighten it up so you might have insects or something flying about. But you know, they will have fields and things to look at. So it, it'll be... You know, they might see birds flying about and things. So it, it, it will just generally be a healthier environment for them mentally as well as physically. It, it's getting quite scary now. We're so close to running out of money. Um, so you know, anything anybody can give us will be absolutely fantastic. And you know, if the people then thought they could go on giving us some monthly support towards our running costs after that, that would be better still.